Good morning from the trailhead here at Shenandoah National Park. Got here nice and early. Uh, it's 6.15. Ready to hit the road and hit the trail. Sherry has a five mile drive to a picnic area where I'm going to meet her uh, after an eight mile walk. The moon is out, you guys. I don't know if we can see it here, right, right there. Beautiful. I've got a 13 mile day. And then we're going to go into the town of Luray. Luray? Luray? We don't know. L-U-R-A-Y. Luray. We're going to go into the town of Luray this afternoon and uh, just kind of hang out there for a while. Uh, I'll upload some videos and, and do some things. That was a different bird. So I'm going to head back on trail or right back there. <clears throat> and uh, I'll catch you when I find that first white blaze. It's going to be a minute before I find that first white blaze. This is the Hawksbill Trailhead, which starts there. This is the blue blaze down to the AT. Bye, Sherry. Thank you. See you in a couple hours at the pic picnic area. So we'll just walk down the little blue blaze trail here and we'll find that first white blaze. Gonna outrun the rain The trail is long, it's rocky and it's steep And there's a chance we'll lose our way But I've been searching for something real to keep And in my dreams I got so much to say Out here on the road I've seen miracles unfold they show me what the singing's all about In harmony we'll find that sweet sunshine I've come so far, no telling where I'm bound Gonna outrun the rain, gonna throw away the post. I'm living by uh, Appalachian Trail north to my right First white blaze is going to be quite a ways down there Faded one on a tree up ahead, but it's way off trail. I can't get to it. So I will say good morning here. Morning, AT. So very, very, very thankful for another day on trail. Just talking to Sherry this morning about how people say, oh, Virginia is such a big state. You know, there's over 500 miles of the AT here in, in Virginia. Um, and people get their Virginia blues. Oh, the Virginia blues. Oh, I can't wait to get out of Virginia. It's such a long state. There's so much to do in this state. From Damascus, we go to Grace and Highlands. We have the Triple Crown area, which is the Dragon's Tooth, Tinker Cliffs, McAfee Knob, Blue Ridge Parkway, Shenandoahs. There's so much to do in Virginia. How can you get bored? So I'm happy to still be in Virginia. Thank you, Appalachian Trail, for going through such beautiful areas. And look, here's the first white blaze I can get to. So, official good morning. Good morning, AT. Thank you for being awesome. Well, this is unusual. For the first time in a long time that I can remember, I am walking true compass north. I just checked the compass to make sure the sun is rising exactly to the east of me. <laughs> I'm on trail, true compass north. Does not happen often. I'm approaching the Skyland Resort. Uh, there's stables up here. So there's horses out here in the, on the grounds. Beautiful horses. So this must be the, uh, these are the stable areas here. And then the resort, the picnic areas, it's all up ahead a little bit by about a oh, half a mile or so. So you come out of the woods here at the stables. Uh, there's a faint white blaze on a tree there. And then uh, there's a couple faint white blazes up ahead. So you pretty much continue straight forward get you back on trail up here. 
and I see a white blaze to my right. So yes, yeah, straight out of the woods through that little grassy area by the stables uh, and then kind of make a right. It's so hard to get a good video of squirrels because they're so skittish and fast. This guy hung around. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Let's see if I stabilize my hand here. Oh, there he goes. for me. Appreciate that. We're on Little Stony Man Mountain and we're coming out to Little Stony Man Cliffs. This is cool. Wow, guys. Wow. Oh, man. I was just up all in there morning. Trail comes out of here. Wow. We're going to be walking along this for just a little while. This is cool. Yeah, let's walk along here for a little bit. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is great. Wow. I am smelling a little smoke, so that's definitely smoke haze. There's fires somewhere. Oh man, this is great. Oh. Ooh, that's a ways down there. What a great area. Oh wow, there's a big old puddle of water here. We had a lot of rain. Skyline Drive. Wow, we're way above it. More little cliffs down there. What a view. Wow. You can kind of make out the layers of the, the hillsides off in the distance. It's hard to with the smoke in the air or I don't know maybe it makes it better I don't know this is awesome all right I think we go we go back in last little chance for a view here great I think this little section right here is my favorite part of the Shenandoah so far. That's that's awesome. That is really cool. In Shenandoah National Park, they allow um, stealth camping in various areas. There's rules you have to follow, but they do allow stealth camping uh, along the trail here, not within half a mile of developed areas. So there's signs like this all throughout the trail when you come up to Skyland Resort, for example, or the stables or a picnic area that we're getting up into. Just to tell you, no camping uh, between here and the developed area, which in this case is picnic area. So that's one thing that's drastically different between uh, Shenandoah National Park and the Smokies, is that you can stealth camp 
following certain rules. Uh, Smokies, you are not allowed to stealth camp anywhere. So that's really nice about this park. You have that option. And I've seen several really nice uh, little stealth camp spots throughout my travels here. Something that I'm keeping in the back of my mind for potential future trips. Coming out into the Pinnacle Picnic Grounds. Hey, there's Sherry. Cool. There's pit toilets right here. Water. Uh, I'm not sure what the sign says, if it's potable or not. I'll check that out later. But this is cool. Let's go say hi. Half an hour. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I just breakfast. Did you? Yeah. You did just finish breakfast. There's your bowl. Hi, Bailey. Hi, B. Oh, let's open the screen. Let's open the screen, such as it is. Oh, hi. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Well, I got here and Sherry, I was early, so she said, I haven't made you lunch yet. What do you want? I already polished off the avocado. I'm having the same thing I had yesterday. Chicken Caesar wrap. Yep, chicken chicken wrap, Doritos. Avocado. Uh, I had the avocado. I've got a co fresh coffee right down here. Coconut water. Coconut water maybe in a minute. Um, and then something for dessert. So, <laughs> spoiled. I'm sitting in my chair. So, yeah, somewhat spoiled. Pinnacles. Pinnacles. Picnic area. Yep, Pinnacles picnic area. With a real bathroom. Yeah, there's a real flushing toilet bathroom. I, I didn't know that. Soap. And paper towel. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Great lunch. Thank you, Sherry. Amazing. Bye, Sherry. Trail comes in here right past the pit toilets. AT. Enjoy a short hike along a portion of this famous trail. A very short hike from there to there. <laughs> These are actual bathrooms, flushing toilets, water, soap, towels, the whole nine yards. Uh, and we go into the woods again. I think we have to veer left here. There's some kind of a picnic trail that I think goes straight ahead. So this was Pinnacle's picnic area. Very nice. Lots of shade, lots of tables. There's, uh, there's water available. So this is a great stop that you have to walk right through anyway. I have decided to add some mileage to my day rather than stopping at highway uh, 211 I'm going to continue on another three point I think it was 3.4 miles uh, there's a gap that is much easier for a pickup and drop off than the highway 211 uh, the description says cross a four lane highway using great caution uh, so that's going to be interesting to see so that's coming up in five miles and then adding three more to my day makes another eight. It's like 8.6 8 8 left in my day. Well, this is the first uh, official hut slash shelter that I've come upon uh, that's been actually right on the trail. AT comes out right here, has a bear box. There's a pole to hang bear bags from the hooks at the top there. I guess this used to be a day use. Uh, picnic area, which they've converted into a shelter for overnight use. There's a little platform in here. Fireplace. This is actually very nice. Very nice. First uh, official hut slash shelter I've seen in the park. There's a privy off in that direction. The AT continues off that way. Very cool. This is a point one side trail to Mary's Rock. I have been told by several hikers in the area it is worth the point one side trip. And I'm looking at this uphill rocky point one going, I hope so. Let's go find out. I made it to the top. 
Oh wow. You can climb all the way up. Wow. Yeah. This is cool. This is really cool. Now, now we can see your house? That's funny. What a gorgeous day. Yeah, I can climb all the way up to the top there. Oh, sweet. Highway 211, not too shabby. Awesome, look at that. We all made it out alive. Sweet. That one, I know, you wanna go back and do it again? <laughs> awesome. All right. The AT comes out here and goes back in the woods over there. But here's Beam's Gap. And there's the van. And this is the end of my day. It's 20 after two. Sweet. That extra three miles, got that done today. I don't have to do that tomorrow. Bit of a climb in there, so that's good to get that over with. Hello? That day's done. Nice. Extra three miles in the books. Beautiful. Cool. Did you lose your companions? I did. They stopped for a, a break. Oh, I gotcha. At Beam's Gap, uh, we met a through hiker Greyhound, helped her out with uh, some resupply food. She mentioned when I bumped into her on trail coming down into the gap that she needed to uh, find a place for, for some food. So I asked her if she needed anything we had. A supply of stuff so I gave her a couple of a couple of meals and some bars and stuff and sent her on her way um, we're gonna hang out around the area we're gonna seek decent Wi-Fi or I'm sorry decent cellular service there's just not a lot of good cellular service uh, at some of these pullouts. so we're gonna go look for some good cell service so I can get some stuff done and uh, figure out where to spend the night so uh, we'll get back to you it is five o'clock I'm gonna end the day right here Sherry is inside cooking BLTs, A's. BLTAs, bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado on toasted ciabatta buns. BLTAC. See? Oh, and cheat. Oh, BLTAC is cheese? Oh, on toasted ciabatta bun. Oh my calories. gosh, bring on the calories. Uh, I had a great day on trail. I did that extra three miles and I'm glad I did because it sets me up to actually do 21 miles tomorrow and get out of Shenandoah National Park. So tomorrow will be my last day here in the park. Um, those cliffs today were the highlight of my day and I think so far my favorite part of the park. They were beautiful. Um, the weather was gorgeous. It was the beautiful, perfect temperature for hiking. Had a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, Sherry met me for lunch again. She gave me a bunch of food to eat to fuel my day. I think she's going to do the same thing tomorrow. Hiked around some people. What's that? You hiked around a group of people today. Uh, yeah, there was a small group of people that we had met the other day. Um, there was Hummingbird, Phoenix, Green Machine. And then there was a guy named SpongeBob Soggy Pants and Jaeger. They... They're so separate groups. So the three, the two, I met Greyhound. Uh, so I just kind of hiked around some people today, just randomly. Wanted to give an update on my leg. It is feeling good. I taped it in a different way two days ago. Uh, and it actually feels decent at the end of the day. So I'm, I'm going to maintain that style of taping for a while. Make sure that uh, it take, I can take care of that. And my shoes, my topos, I never touched on what happened when I contacted uh, Topo about my soles coming off. Uh, they offered to either, after I sent in photos anyway, they offered to either send me a brand new pair somewhere up trail or give me a discount code to get half off of three pairs on a future purchase. So I have to buy three pairs at once and I can get half off all three pairs. We opted to do that mainly because I already have two new pairs. Well, I have one new pair uh, at my mom's that I can uh, get. 
And Sherry ordered a pair as well. So if I do need to wear another pair, there is another pair available to me. And when we're done with this through hike, I'm going to need a new pair of shoes to just go on with daily life. And I really love Topos. Uh, and Sherry's going to need a new pair at some point too. So we might as well take advantage of the half off uh, offer that they gave. So they were very, uh, very kind and very generous and very supportive. As soon as I heard I was through hiking, they were very apologetic for the problem and wanted to make it right uh, in whichever way was best for us. So thank you Topo for uh, being helpful uh, and offering um, a couple options for me and allowing me to choose which one uh, fit, uh, fit best for me. So I'm going to end the day. I'm going to say good night. Uh, we are parked at an undisclosed location. Um, setting me up to get back on trail early tomorrow morning. Be my last day in the Shenandoahs. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a fantastic night. See you on trail tomorrow. Good night. I'm looking ahead now. I'm on the right road. Gonna outrun the rain. Gonna throw away the pain. I'm living right cause I'm following my heart Gonna outrun the rain Gonna celebrate the changes On the highway of legends It's written in the stars Gonna outrun the rain Heroes that I know Sing songs of long ago They lift me up